Hello students, in this video, we will be discussing about how to add bibliography or citations in your project report. So in order to add bibliography, we will be using an open source software named Jabref, which can be downloaded from the following link. So from this link, choose the Jabref Windows installer link to download it. So during installation, ensure that you opt for all users option in case if it pops up for you. Also, during installation, you will be asked to install Java runtime environment. So go for installing the same. So after the successful installation of Jabref, you need to perform some settings in the TickMaker. First, ensure that the path of BibLatex is set appropriately by going to this options configure TickMaker commands and BibLatex. So in my case, the viber.exe file is located in this particular path. Next, change the quick build option in the configure tick maker window to point to this particular option. So let me demonstrate the same by going into the tick maker. So in this tick maker, under this options menu, click on configure tick maker. So under this command section, ensure that the bib latex is exactly pointing to the biber.exe file. Ensure that the existence of this particular file by clicking on this option menu and then just see whether this particular .exe file is located in that particular path. Okay. So once this is done, then under this quick built option, switch from PDF latex plus view PDF to the second option of PDF latex plus bib latex and then click on OK. But before I click on OK, I have to tell a few things here. So selecting this second option might increase the compilation time just because it has to run the PDF latex twice and then the Viber once. So in general, you can use this option while writing the literature survey or while adding references to your report. And you can always revert back to this first option, uh, which is basically compiles faster and whenever you have already added references and you have already compiled those references using the second option and now that you have added a content which doesn't have any references to it but you want to uh, make those content to get reflected onto your pdf document in such situation you can always revert back to the first option just because it compiles faster so so you can just click ok and now once the installation of Jabref is done and uh, the settings of this uh, uh, tech maker is properly been configured to compile your bibliography, you can uh, open this project bib.bib file, which is located under the axillary files directory. So in order to open this .bib file using Jabref, we have to navigate to this directory and then double click on this particular file. So let me demonstrate the same. Let me go back to this directory and then double click on this project bib.bib file. So as you could already see that there is a reference book that has already been added here. Now, in order to add any new references, you can use the shortcut key control N. So which brings this uh, entry menu and in this entry window, you can take the advantage of this ID based entry generator to add the citations. But in order to take the advantage of this, you have to provide the ID type and the ID value in this. So say for example, you want to add a reference of a journal that has a DOI number. Then in such case, ensure that this ID type is set properly to DOI and then paste the DOI value in this ID text box and then you need to click on this generator. So let me do the same. Here I just want to reference this article which has a DOI number. So let me copy this DOI number from here and then paste it into this text box. And when I click on this generate, this program will automatically searches the internet and takes information from the internet and uh, 
it creates the entry automatically for us. So this is fascinating, right? It does the work for us. So in a way that all my work becomes much more simple if I have the ID values. So before we proceed further, we have to save this BIP file and then uh, we need to select the key out of this particular entry. So there are two ways from which one could uh, select the BIP tech key from this particular entry. So the first way is to right click and then go to the copy option and under this copy option, select the third option, which is copy site BIP tech key or the second way to do is to go for the shortcut key, which is control K. So let me copy this. So once you copy, you can switch back to this tick maker and then you can add your references. So let me add my reference in chapter one. So let me uh, navigate to a particular location. And if you want to see the PDF, which is referring to this particular location, you can always right click and use this uh, jump to PDF option and that will uh, get you the place where you're actually referring your tech file. So now in this, let me try to uh, add some text and along with this, I also have to add the key. So since I've already copied the key with the control K shortcut, I have to paste it with control V option, the normal uh, paste option command. And then I add some text, um, something like So now that I have added my citation along with the text that I want to enter. Okay. So there are cases where you might have copied some of the figures as well as tables from some sort of references, right? So in such cases, you need to add the references to those figures and tables. So let us assume that I have copied this particular figure from the citation that I have mentioned. So let me add those citations here. So whenever I try to add the citation, I have to add the citation inside this caption uh, command. So let me add the same citation that I've copied. So now that ensure that everything is set under this quick build and also ensure that your project main.tech file is set as the master document. In my case, it is already set. So from here, you can just click on this quick build and let us see whether this citation is getting reflected both over here where the figure has to be referenced as well as the entry that I have made somewhere here has to be referenced. And finally, our bibliography has to be added with the reference that we have added. Okay, let us see by clicking on this quick belt option. So as you could already see that our citation has been numbered and uh, yeah, so here uh, previously there was a citation numbering to one and this number has been automatically changed to number two. And again, we had uh, uh, the citation that has been numbered as one for this key that has been added. And let us look for the final page. And as you could able to see that whatever we have referenced is been uh, automatically set for us. So nothing we have done over here. So uh, there is one more tip that I want to mention. So in few cases where in this particular site, you want to uh, refer to the DOI number and you would see that this DOI number is given as a kind of link. So in such case, you need to copy the only the number that is starting from this DOI.org forward slash. Okay. So whatever this entire thing has to be copied and then pasted under the ID uh, text box. Okay. And this is the summary of what we have discussed to add bibliography using Jabref and TechMaker. So hope that uh, this video has given enough knowledge to add bibliography to your project. Thank you.